Well, that takes stop. Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> you want to? Yeah. So I can't say anything because even though we are best mates, so basically you, you throw him so, under the bus, but. Leicester have the worst. Well, I was texting him, so obviously we give each other shit about anything and everything. Like he just abuses me for doing what I'm doing, and I, every before every game or in the lead up to the game, I'd just text him, "Deeks keep it under 50." <laughs> but now, obviously, I can't say that because he just you he's... horrible man, that, and you're saying I'm horrible. But it was it was a joke before before they were getting 50 putting on Goody. So now I don't know. I just don't speak to him or text him anymore. Or or you do, say. but he just doesn't respond. Well, it's like what do you say, Deeks? How are you? Mate, I ain't great. That's what you'd say. <laughs> that, that's the thing with Leicester, though, and we'll come back to Bristol. This isn't a direct reflection of the coaching, what's going on at Leicester now. This is, and I've said it before, it's a direct reflection of their recruitment. Harry Thacker was allowed to leave the club. Didn't want him. His first year at Bristol, he scored five tries in the last two games. Every time he played for Leicester, he was quality. He was Why amazing. Why did they let him go? No idea. Recruitment. Whoever's in charge of recruitment there, and there's some rugby committee or whatever. Oh, goody, leave it, mate. But that's where that's where the that's where the club's going wrong. And, and the yeah. easy thing to do is go, oh, get some coaches in. It's not the coaches. It's the it's the players that are not putting it in for the jersey week in week out to a level that you expect. I can tell you, and I've seen it firsthand, and we've both played with Geordie, and you listen to the guys. He's a quality coach. And he's in a storm. And so is Brett. Brett's an awesome coach as well. Like He's brilliant. But they're in a storm at the minute, aren't they? The Sergeant Major on Twitter says, what's going on? And would you bid against them uh, for the drop? Could you imagine? Well, <laughs> they, they ain't getting relegated. The, well, they can't. No, they've got too much quality to get relegated. But having said that, big clubs have said that before. Northampton said that years ago. And they had Carl, Carlos Spencer and Ben Cohen and... Steve Thompson and players like that, they were quality players. So if there's a rift in a club, which there was at Northampton, there was a big split between the Kiwis and the English speakers at the time. That year, they folded like a deck of cards and ended up getting relegated. There isn't a split at Leicester in terms of, you know, dividing the squad and like that. It's just the quality of their team the squad, the performance and everything like that. I don't know, mate. You look at the quality again on paper, the like for like team and you've put someone like Manu. I, but, you know, the, the, it, they're playing against 14 men, Bristol were. Yeah, Eastman gets so, sent yeah, off. Yeah, Eastman gets sent off. You know, and Bristol are good. Bristol are a lot better than people would think. If you, if you were to say, oh, yes, yeah, the team that have just been promoted and they put 40 points on Leicester, they're not. You look at the quality of their signings. How good was John Afoa? Mm. 